Sagittarius. Welcome and welcome back to Heretic Owl Tarot. So we are talking about April, um, which is crazy <laughs> to me. Oh my gosh. Um, but here we are. So I hope that March has treated you well, is treating you well. Um, it was interesting while I was shuffling. Um, I don't know how to, anyway, so while I was shuffling, there was like a couple, I, I, I thought they were just like specks, you know, or like dust or hair or something that were just kind of flying on the table. And I just kind of brushed them off without any thought to it until I realized after the fact, because I did, I just woke up about, I mean, less than an hour ago. <laughs> so, um, I think my... My brain is um, still catching up, but, oh, I'm so hard on these cards. Um, but anyway, sorry. So um, I realized after the fact that they were little feathers and I was just sitting here and I'm like, where in the world? <laughs> I mean, I do have feathers around, like I make um, dream catchers. So I've used feathers for those, but I haven't had those out in like months. So it's just kind of interesting. Anyway, um, you know, they say that the symbolism for a feather is that there's a spirit, um, a spirit or an angel or, um, you know, just kind of whoever you think about first is generally, you know, if they've passed on to the other side is generally... Um, who's just kind of, you know, like making their presence known. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Maybe it resonates, but, um, let's get into it. So we're using the black tarot and it's funny. See, oh, you probably can't, but these little specks are, they're little feathers. That's so interesting that there they were, <laughs> or there were like a couple other ones. I mean, they weren't the same. Interesting. So there's your, there's your confirmation and your hello, or I love you, or, you know, all of it. So um, we're using the black tarot. And it's funny, because I was actually going to use a different deck um, this month, but I had to move this one in order to get to it. And um, as soon as I picked, as soon as I picked this deck up, it was like immediately connected to my heart space. Like, you know, when you plug something in and you hear it like chime or whatever. That's exactly what happened. So I was like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> um, I love this deck. Anyway, so um, for the, the monthly readings, we do a four card spread. So the first card is the current energy. To the left of that is any potential blocks. Underneath is advice for clearing the block. And then the last position is the, is the energy that you're heading into. Um, I don't shuffle reversals into the deck, but if the card comes out in the reverse, we'll keep it that way. Um, the cards do need to fall out of the deck. If they flip in the deck, we'll just flip them over and keep it moving. And uh, my intention is for one card to come out at a time, but <clears throat> if two cards come out together, we'll take two cards, but any anything more than that, um, we'll put it back, um, because we, ju we just want the message to be super clear. So what is the, the current energy for Sagittarius? I'm pretty sure I said Sagittarius at the beginning, right? <laughs> What's the current energy for Sagittarius? We have the Four of Wands. This card has been coming out so much um, this month. It's interesting. Um, <clears throat> and it's like shown up in every position. <laughs> 
And, you know, I mean, it's showed up in the reverse and the upright, you know, so it's just interesting. It seems like, you know, um, there's, there's a lot of focus on just um, collectively, like there's a lot of focus on stability and foundation, especially in the things that you're doing. So, um, we have the four of wands. Wands are very much your suit, right? It's the fire. Uh, it represents fire. And my attention keeps getting drawn to this little light up here. It's kind of like, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, these look like stairs, of course. But, you know, I mean, there seems to be some sort of um, ascension going on here. Or maybe you feel that, you know, like um, you have to reach a certain level before you'll feel stable. Because um, that's what the Four of Wands generally talks about. There's usually two people in the um, in the Four of Wands. Like it talks about a union, harmony. There's a lot of discipline that comes along with the Four of Wands as well. <clears throat> but it talks about having you know, like four pillars to make a square, you know, like, so that there's, you know, and that kind of represents the foundation. And then we have the five of swords at the bottom of the deck and the nine of pentacles behind that, the four of swords. So the five of swords talks about mental conflict. I mean, swords represent air, but, you know, I mean, it talks about our, our thoughts, our intellect, how we perceive a situation, but it also talks about our ego, right? Because that's kind of where our ego lives, or that's where we hear it anyway. So, you know, I mean, there could be some level of competition going on. It could just be trying to kind of like outwit somebody or you know like some situation you know the lesson with the fives is to understand that they're temporary it's a temporary energy right like it's transitioning from one energy to <clears throat> to the other interesting and then, like I said, we have the nine of pentacles underneath that. And this is financial independence. So this could have to do with um, your stability, right? Like, you know, whatever you're kind of focusing your energy on. And it's almost kind of like, um, it's almost kind of like there's no room for really anything else is kind of the energy that I'm getting because, you know, we have this one sword that's kind of in the place of this figure's head, right? And there's these two other, or there are four, excuse me, four other swords here that aren't even connected, right, to this figure. So it's kind of like, you know, there's this one sword here and that's like all that you can focus on. And like I said, you know, I mean, it could have to do with your financial independence to some degree. And then interestingly enough, we have the four of swords. <laughs> behind here so you know it's almost like you know you can just kind of see the difference because there's still the two swords up here like they are here and you know I mean you can just kind of see this figure is taking up a posture of like meditation 
right? So, you know, <clears throat> this could have to do with meditation. Like, you know, when we get to the four, it is about kind of giving your mind a rest. Um, it talks about... Um, Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> because, you know, we're coming from the three of swords, which is, you know, that disappointment and frustration or, um, you know, kind of rejection. And this is kind of, you know, where we rest from that. Like we, we just kind of, allow there to be some sort of healing when it comes to that. It also, you know, is, is talking about like what you're going to do next. Like it's really kind of getting quiet so you can kind of hear what's coming next. And then the five of cups, or excuse me, oh my gosh, the five of swords. <laughs> um, that's kind of when, you know, like they're, they're you're either kind of fighting for it or um, fighting against it could even be the thing. We have the three of pentacles behind there, which talks about planning, collaboration, and then the Ten of Pentacles. Which is, you know, kind of you and the people around you have their needs met. Like, you know, it talks about family and community. Interesting. We'll just kind of see, you know, like how the rest of the cards go. But clearly focusing on this stability here. What's a block for Sagittarius? The world. <laughs> something is not coming to an end or you don't want it to or you're resisting something. Ooh. So the world is the true end of a cycle. It's, you know, that cycle is complete. You've gone through the whole journey of something, like, you know, from fool to judgment. And now, you know, like, um, you know, you the the wisdom and the knowledge, the the um the people that you've picked up along the way, right? Like, um, the energy for that thing has been satisfied. <clears throat> so then, you know, the world talks about, you know, kind of, like I said, cycles coming to an end. Um, and when it's in a blocked position, there's a, a resistance to that. I mean, you could just be feeling not fulfilled yet. Like you could be feeling like it's not complete. You could be feeling like you haven't reached this level of um, security that you want to reach. We have the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And the Page of Swords, to me, like, I don't know why it if this time... Um, it's he's kind of coming out as being a bit egotistical. But again, you know, I mean, the swords have to do with our thoughts and our intellect. And like I said, our ego as well. And 
when we get to the pages in the suit in the um court cards the pages are you know the younger energies so you know if it was a person it would be like adolescent to you know kind of mid 20s so i mean there could be somebody um in your life that would represent that energy but if it's not then you know it's like um with the swords, it's like, you know, when you get a new thought or when you can see things from a different perspective and just kind of having that like childlike um, wonder about it, right? So, you know, again, with this showing up in the blocked position, um... You know, like, it just might be that, you know, th that, ugh, I hate this saying, but like, you may be being too serious. I hate when people say that. I just couldn't think of a different, <laughs> I couldn't think of a different way to say that. But, um, you know, kind of like that childlike um, wonder about things like you know what is possible or what is a different perspective we have the knight of pentacles behind that this could be you know like a journey that you've been on for a long time pentacles are really pretty slow moving too because you know it takes time in the physical 3d for things to actualize and that's what the pentacles represent is the things that you can touch the things that you can see it's a tangible things that that monetize so you know it could be how you make your money um it could be you know like your physical health it could be what you are physically spending your time doing but um you know i mean it it's a it's a journey that you've been on for some time but it takes dedication and commitment And, you know, with this kind of showing up in the blocked position, you know, it's kind of like, you know, is there like some level of frustration that's going on there? Or do you just kind of feel like um, you still have a ways to go? Like I was saying, even with the four of wands. <clears throat> Like, you know, with that Knight of Pentacles, like maybe you see this light at the end of the tunnel being a bit further out. But the world showing up in the blocked position is just kind of a reminder that, you know, it doesn't have to be anything drastic. <laughs> like, you know, you, you quit your job and I don't, you know, um, move off grid or something like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be that dramatic, but, you know, I mean, it can just be like the end to a way of thinking since the page of swords was at the bottom of the deck, you know, and that, that would be like an old way of thinking that could even be like an inner child, um, thing, right? Like just some narrative that you've carried around with you based on, you know, some wounding from, childhood um or adolescence or you know young 20s um can maybe that's kind of interfering and um maybe preventing you from even completing a cycle so and like i said you know even with that knight of pentacles like you know it's something that's been a part of your identity and a part of your um, personality for so long that, you know, um, maybe you don't recognize it as being a block. So what's the advice? The star. 
Beautiful. And the King of Cups. Mm. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Beautiful. <clears throat> so we have the Star card. This is a card of Aquarius. So there could be an Aquarius in your... Um, in your... Uh, I'm trying to figure out if there's who the world represents. I don't think that it does represent... One. Oh, duh. It, <laughs> it's Earth. Oh my gosh. See, I'm not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course, right? It's Earth. It would represent the Earth signs. Um, there could be an Earth sign in your life. <laughs> um, I'm an Earth sign and I'm in your life. So there you go. Anyway, so with a star, <clears throat> this talks about, you know, hopes and dreams and, you know, like relying on faith, right? This is also like, <laughs> um, almost just kind of like astral projecting is the is what's coming to mind. Like really kind of, you know, creating the, creating your life, right? Like, I mean, just really kind of manifesting that even, you know, I see the star as being the space between the spiritual like the spirit realm and the world, like, you know, the physical 3D world. And, you know, it's that place between that our prayers and our manifestations lie because it's kind of like, you know, you need both things to come together, like to collide, kind of like how they're doing here in order to kind of actualize, right? It's the 5D and the 3D. But like I said, you know, it's that, that space between where, um, you know, you astral project or you do, you know, kind of hang out maybe even your, in your meditations. And then we have the um, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I'm also kind of getting this feeling of like, let it be easy. Um, you know, like if there is some sort of resistance going on here and, you know, resistance can literally be anything from, you know, like I was even saying, you know, like inner child stuff that maybe you're not even aware of, right? Because um, it's just something that, like I said, you know, has just been part of your being for so long that you, you take it to be... Um, a truth of of your identity or personality but really if you were to kind of you know follow follow the path back to that energy you might discover that like I said you know it is some sort of inner child wound and not you know a true representation of you know what or who you are now like it's based off of old stuff, right? Like old fears, old um, judgments or expectations or something, right? So, you know, this is just kind of like this, like I said, there's this, this feeling of like letting it be easy. The King of Cups, um, you know, cups are, are connected to our emotions. So it's, you know, kind of really feeling into your body, 
Because even, you know, like this depiction, right? I mean, we can see kind of a clear outline of the figure's body, but it's kind of like their head is, um, I want to say like getting blown away, but that sounds terrible. Um, it's like um, every everything that's coming to my mind is is not the right right representation. Do not blow your head away. Um, it almost just looks like sand, though, to me, right? And how you know, like the wind comes and just kind of carries it off, like it's distorted, you know. So this is, you know, an invitation to really kind of feel into your body. You know, the, the King of Cups is highly intuitive because there is that connection to the body. That's also been a message through most of the, the readings too, is to really get down into the body. And, you know, when we get to the king, like the kings are leadership, right? So this is, you know, um, even, you know, kind of sharing your your emotions or your feelings with community. Um, this could even be like the things that you've learned. This could even be the thing that, yeah, okay. Because we have the, <laughs> the ace of, of pentacles behind here. So this is kind of like a new... Like, speaking of the physical body here, right? Like, this is maybe just a different way of showing up. Or a different way of, you know, kind of communicating your emotions here. And even, you know, like, that could even maybe help you. Um, either gain some clarity. It could be something that even you have been manifesting. And it's kind of like, you know, like it's here. Um, we again we have the three of pentacles showing up which is collaboration like with other people it's planning and then we have judgment and the ten of cups behind there so you know like there's this transformation that is um i mean you know the ten of cups is the minor arcana to the sun card so all the good feelings, right? Any any good feeling that you can think of. But this is also sharing that with community. Going back to the King of Cups. And it's kind of like this feeling of like just doing it. Like, it's almost maybe like, you know, maybe your feelings are are pretty clear about it. It's just a matter of actually doing it. Like, actually doing it in the physical, like, 3D world. Like, you, um, like, it would be me actually making one of these videos, right? And that's kind of what happened. Like, you know, I, I went through all my, my emotions, my um, everything. You know, like, I just, it took me... <laughs> It took me a while to actually make a video. Um, but again, like I said, I had to go through all of my doubts, my fears, my expectations, my everything in order to kind of get those things leveled before I actually did it. And then there kind of came a point where the only thing left to do was to actually do it and kind of figure it out along the way. And, you know, I mean, this could be help showing up for you. Um, you know, there could be help around you. Um, right. And it may not be like major because this is a three, right? But it may just kind of help you get going or they might just help you get going, I should say. What is next for Sagittarius? What's next? I 
I don't know. I don't know if this is more in the reverse or... <laughs> I'm not sure. We, we might just talk about both. Because so here we have the Ace of, of Pentacles, right? We were just talking about it. <laughs> but we have the Five of Pentacles behind here. And immediately what I The message that I heard in my head was they're not going to do it. Or like not going to do it now. It's like, you know, there's going to be some sort of delay. And that's absolutely fine. Right? Like, um, clearly. <laughs> we all have free will. Right? We can all, we, we can do whatever we feel is best. For our situation right this is just kind of you know when we do tarot readings it's like you know what is the energy that is possible right and this is you know what we were just talking about with the star like this is what is possible so you know um whether you kind of decide to kind of move forward, kind of move out of like almost, you know, kind of let whatever the thing is kind of, you know, actually come to an end, right? Um, so that's something else because, you know, once we, once the world happens, we go right back into the full energy, right? So it's this continuous cycle, you know, that like we, we begin something new, We have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, again, like that's kind of where that feeling of, you know, like there's going to either it's going to be put on the back burner or um, delayed or that's kind of like where that came from. We have the queen of pentacles, the queen of cups and the two of wands. This could maybe even just be feel like, you know, you may just not be ready or you may just not think that you're ready. Who's ever ready, <laughs> right? And frankly, if we wait until we're ready, um, if you're anything like me, you'll be waiting forever. And I did, honestly. I mean, I probably waited way too long. That's okay. Because, you know, I mean, it'll be there for you anyway when you are ready. But just know that it, it just kind of seems like the cosmos, um, you know, I mean, whoever, you know, like if you, if you believe in, if you... Mm, if you connect to a higher power, whether that's God, spirit, divine, your higher self, you know, whoever it is, it seems like they're ready and they think you're ready. But nobody's going to pressure you to do anything, right? That's not even what this is at all. It's just, you know, again, it's just kind of like having... An awareness of it because there is this new thing so you know like let's say you did go for it right because I was just kind of um, talking about the ace of Pentacles in the reverse but um, let's talk about it in the upright so this is going for it right this is kind of stepping into something new um, and, you know, again, this is, you know, what you would be spending your physical time doing. 
this could be what you end up or what you what you make money doing. This could be just a new stream of income. It could be um, anything like that, right? Like it could be a craft. It could be, you know, whatever. You are physically spending your time and your energy and putting your body into, right? And this five of, of pentacles is kind of like that fear that would come along with it. And again, even just, you know, like needing to kind of get expectations in check and, and maybe try not to have any expectation other than doing it because it's, it's what you enjoy. It's kind of what lights your fire, right? And again, you know, just kind of, it's understanding that this is temporary. When we talk about fives, it is a temporary energy. So you're not going to be in this energy for very long. And of course, you know, not for very long is going to be different for every situation, but it is, it is temporary. It's not a place to pitch a tent and, you know, like live, right? And then we have the queen of pentacles behind there, which is, you know, embodying, when we talk about the queen, it's, you know, we individually embody the energy. So this is, you know, like a nurturing mother nature, you know, type of, of energy. This is like contentment and having, you know, her needs met. We have the queen of cups again, you know, like we had the king, but this is, you know, kind of filling your own cup and, um, you know, getting clear on how you feel about what you're doing and kind of how you want to present that to the world, right? To the world. And the world can literally, I mean, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm just saying how you want to show up externally. We have the two of wands, which talks about kind of, you know, like, information gathering for whatever direction you're going to take we have the nine of wands which asks us to you know kind of find some play um you know kind of be a bit playful this is you know creativity creation i mean really like it can be whatever it is right like this is kind of created in your own vision like not how other people have done it and maybe that can be a good foundation to get started on but it's really about you know kind of really getting into your own groove <clears throat> and you know part of the the way to do that is by doing it right and figuring out what is my own groove right <laughs> And that's what the Eight of, of Pentacles talks about is, is doing it, like physically putting your, your attention into it and practicing so that, you know, you can get clearer, you can get better at the thing. We have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands behind there. And then there's the Three of, of Pentacles again that showed up a couple times. So, you know, this... Um, this divine truth comes in. This is almost like a download to me is kind of how this feels. It's like something is like kind of dropped into your, your consciousness. And then, you know, here's that spark, right? It could spark um, a new desire, a new passion in you. And that's because, right, like you... You started to move in the energy. You started to just move in general, right? Like towards the thing. And that's what I was talking about with this five of, of spheres being, or five of pentacles being temporary, right? Because look at all of this that is behind here. There's not a single card that, it, and then there's judgment again. The nine of pentacles is going to bring, you know, financial stability and then the Ten of Cups again, you know, um, happiness, like your, your cup, 
is full. It's overflowing. So, right. So just recognizing that this might be what you can see right now, because there's this, um, this ending that, or this cycle, whatever this, the world card is, right? Like that is trying to come to an end. And maybe it's not because again, like this is the, the first thing that you see. But it's kind of, you know, if you kind of allow yourself to just kind of step into this energy, all of this beautiful stuff is behind it. <laughs> like all of this possibility is behind there. Just waiting for you. <laughs> and like I said, of course, um, you have free will, right? This is, this is only what is possible. And if you don't believe that, you know, you have the time, the space, the energy, whatever to kind of start heading in that direction now, I full heartedly, I mean, I believe that the energy will show up for you again, you know, because like I said, it's almost kind of like you might be the only one who believes that you're not ready. It's kind of like every, everything else is ready for you right? Baby steps. There's still steps, you know? So I am going to leave it there. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.